What's up guys? We've actually made it over to another city. Uh, we're actually in Osaka now. We took a one hour long train ride over from Kyoto. That's where our Airbnb is, so we're gonna end up going back after anyways, but uh, we've made our way over to a place known as Osaka Castle. I don't really know the history on it, but it is really cool to see, so check it out. So that's not the main building, um, but there's like a huge park area. All the grounds are all considered to be part of the castle, but there is this one really tall building, and that's pretty much where we're gonna head. So unfortunately the uh, museum is actually closed right now because of the virus, which is a bit unfortunate. So we won't be able to go inside the castle, but we are gonna check out the grounds because um, they are definitely video worthy. So I really wanna show you guys that. Plus, you know, I love doing this. So let's get the show on the road. Oh, exploring with Shad! Oh! Okay guys, check out this uh, wonderful gate here. And uh, again, we got exploring with Shad! Oh, here's exploring with Moshi! We kind of see it from here. Kinda. Yeah, dig that. Tomatoes? Maybe? Maybe Tomatoes? spinach. A zucchini. Zucchini, yes. Lots What's of zucchini. Zucchini? Cauliflower. Alright, cauliflower garden. <laughs> We've made it over to the main gate. So Andrew was telling us that this was actually very strategic for like military forces and stuff. Because there's only literally this way in. So you'd have to come all those way up and then they would uh, pick you off if you somehow managed to get inside. So that's it, eh? Yeah, museum's inside. Man, I wish I could go inside, that'd be cool. Yeah. Not today, though. Not today. So ornate and pretty. Ugh. Walking here is kind of a challenge, apparently. So here's the uh, tourist gate. Now, normally it would be open, but like I said, because of the virus right now, there's no way to go in and check it out, unfortunately. What's nice is you have the entire uh, skyline of the city area over here. Great view. Got a nice view up here. Seems to be another uh, interesting looking building down there. Not too sure what it is. Now, from what I read online is that this castle may in fact be haunted. Now, unfortunately, because I can't get inside, I can't really test that out for you. But uh, we're gonna move along here. Hopefully get something to eat soon. Take a few more shots of this cool looking thing. What's cool is how it's like built on top of this entire like stone looking structure. We were actually talking about it. We don't know where they got all these stones from, but these are intense. Yep, that is the castle. This area is really cool though. Really nice. A little breezy today. Not too sunny. Yeah, and apparently we've uh, made a friend over here, but hopefully we're gonna go and get something to eat because I am really, really hungry. It is now time to leave the castle. Oh, they got like gondolas here. That is so cool. Oh. Yeah, I think that's what I was reading on the way in here. It was saying the main tower is closed and I believe all the gondola rides. Obviously due to the virus, unfortunately. Here's what it is. You wanna go on a gondola ride with me? Yeah, kind of. We'll just steal one. Just jump right on? Yeah. It's probably abandoned. Probably. View from here is like, wow. I kind of want to build my house like this, with like a moat all the way around. Take people on gondola rides, I think that would be kind of fun. What do you guys think? You guys think that would be fun? Let me know down in the comments below. So here we have the uh, second gate, which was literally the only other way into the grounds over here. So this place obviously was pretty well fortified in case of war and invasions and stuff like that. These doors are nuts, eh? like out of any movie you've ever seen with a castle. Right? Like, I, I feel like, you know what I'm thinking? Like, Lord of the Rings. That's what I'm thinking. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the big piece of wood. Then they have a little door over here for... Just a little, little door for the, uh... Guard door. For the dwarves, right? That's the dwarf door right there. Dude, this guy has an owl in the basket. Did you not notice that? <laughs> Come back, owl. Come back. Kind of following this guy here with the owl. I have no idea what the hell is going on. Oh man. Another walk, another bridge. There's like this boat thing that's underneath this bridge right now. 
Kind of looks like a like a boat bullet train thing. So we arrived at the uh, sushi place. It's a little different. Everything comes on a conveyor belt. <laughs> That's neat. So you literally just if you see something you like, you just grab it. Yep. Put it here. It's some deep fried tuna. I never tried deep fried tuna before. Okay. I just ordered whatever Mo ordered, so yeah. Shrimps on shrimps. Shrimps and scrimps. Tuna! And the uh, ponzu yeah. sauce. It doesn't taste fishy at all. It's like, mm. it's just like, honestly, it's kind of like chicken. Okay. Yeah. Can you taste them? Okay. Tried the shrimp yet? I haven't tried the scrimps. Have you? Yeah, you rock them. They're, they're quite epic. Okay, first. Okay, guys, you must do that. 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 I do want to try everything. Like he's so smart. He's sea cock. Yeah. I'm good. I, I got I got my own cock. That's enough. <laughs> I feel my sodium levels rising very rapidly. It's okay. We got low sodium soy sauce. <laughs> I didn't use the low sodium soy sauce. It scans a number of plates. It's just, it, 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 That's it's amazing. It scans it. Yeah. I'm not creepy. What the witchcraft is this? <laughs> witchcraft. Like how cool is that? Yes. So, you guys see that shirt? He literally scanned the plates. He scanned them. Fantastic. Where to now? Hey! What's up, homeboy? <laughs> Serious, cool. We got a giant cow up there. There's all sorts of like random things going on down here. A couple hours, we'll actually get to see this place completely lit up. We've made it to another arcade in Japan. Except this one's really, really loud. They got a lot more uh, games and stuff, though. That's cool. This place is so dope. Oh my god, look how many of the same machine they have. I don't even know what game that is. I'm not really much of a gamer. So I have absolutely no idea. Alright. What is this game? It's like some, some type of soccer game or... I don't know what it is. That's interesting. Never seen those before. It's all new to me. So from what I'm understanding is... Uh, Osaka is kind of like Harvey Central here, uh, so it's supposed to be a lot of fun as well. Kind of like hanging around and doing some time. Everything's gonna get lit up outside and a lot to look at. Yeah, he got you. He got you. Welcome to Osaka at night. Very cool atmosphere. Tons of people everywhere. Kind of crazy to think that uh, at home everybody's in lockdown. And then you come to places like this, and this is what you see. Literally people everywhere. And this is with like Japan on a slow basis. This friggin' thing is my favorite. <laughs> Stupid crab. Oh my god, that's hilarious. This is known as the famous canal here in Osaka. And there's actually this amazing billboard right here. Check that out. Very cool. So what is this? Just a mall? It's an intense looking mall. Very different life than what we're used to back home. Yes, I did go to that Starbucks over there because I needed my fix. Huge ass beer billboard. Is this like all one restaurant? That's crazy. 
It's like what? One, two, three, four, five floors? This is uh, a very unique spot. Very interesting. Very interesting with all these billboards everywhere. Kukuru! I like a lot of these like little alleyway restaurants. And usually they're pretty good. There's so many restaurants in this one specific area. So much to choose from. This looks like a somewhat maybe high-end restaurant. I don't know if it actually is. Oh, it's a meat shop. Cool. Okay, moving along through Osaka, we've actually made it to a spot known as Osaka Shinsekai. I don't really know what that means, but apparently it's a really cool spot according to Andrew, so we came to check it out. There's a really cool tower up there. That's neat. All lit up. Looks very pretty. What's kind of funny is uh, we literally just did a little bit of a mission, probably about a 30 to 40 minute walk to get from the first spot that we were at to this spot, and we ended up walking through the red light district. That, all I have to say was uh, interesting. People here are clearly very into their cosplay. If you know what I mean. But yeah, let's uh, keep exploring and check this place out. Because there's always something new to see in this country, that's for sure. It's not too much going on here. It looks like uh, it's definitely a lot quieter in this area. I'm not quite sure what's going on. What is this all about? Huh. Another arcade. These are literally everywhere. You see Mario back there. So we just got these uh, Mountain Dew Violet things. This is an interesting flavor. Yeah, does it taste like color violet? It tastes like, uh, oh man, there's a certain type of candy, I just, I can't remember which one, but it tastes it like something very specifically. Deep fried everything? I like deep fried everything. Why, hello there. Like I said, always something new to see. I don't know what this is all about. I'm gonna assume uh, seafood. There's a huge ship up there. Let's see. Let's let's see what this place is all about. Hey, a penguin! <laughs> you catch your own fish? Really? Oh my god! I kind of want to catch my own fish. I'd be down for for that. Man's got a fish. Got Mr. Uh, Blowfish over here. Hello, Mr. Blowfish. This is a much older area of the city. We've got some gambling going on over here. Interesting. It's all the balls drop, and then I guess it goes in and you win stuff. 